So, um, and for example, let's say we have two, we're at the start of the tree, right? We haven't split the data yet. And we, are look, we could split on outlook or we could split on wind. So how would you pick which one to split on? Well, let's see, if we split on output, we, get with, uh, we end up with three sets and uh, one of them is pure and two of them are impure and you have sort of two to three and three to two as the ratio of positives and negatives in them. Uh, and if we split on wind, uh, we don't have any pure sets, but we have one set which is three and three. So that's you know, totally 50-50, whether, whether John will play or not. Uh, and uh, for the weak, you have it's mostly positive, but there are two negatives as well. So, uh, so which one is better? How do, we know, how do we know whether we should pick outlook or the wind? And the basic idea is you want to somehow measure the purity of the split. So ideally, you want to pick an attribute that has all pure subset, the magic attribute, the killer feature that is going to just determine, uh, give all the answers for you. And of course, it doesn't happen, um, uh, but, but, it, but it, does, it, it, it does happen for some subsets. So how do we take all of this information and turn it into a, some sort of a number that we can use for predicting how good the split is. So at the core of it, what we want to do is we want to measure the purity of the subset. And it's not just whether it's totally pure or totally impure, right? So these are both impure, but this one is a lot better than this one, right? Because this one is, you're, you're almost certain that John will play. It's six out of eight. And this one, it's 50-50. So uh, splits that generate subsets like that are good, and splits that generate subsets like that are bad. So uh, what, we want to, what we want to do is we want to come up with some kind of a metric that will measure the purity of the subset. And uh, one way to measure it is to measure uncertainty. So uh, that's, uh, that's, that's the metric that we're going to use. So after you have split the data, suppose you're looking at a particular subset, how uncertain you are whether a random item from that subset is positive or negative. So that's related to those numbers, the three and three. So here, you would be totally uncertain, completely uncertain, because there is a 50-50 chance of it being positive or negative. Uh, and here, you would be totally certain, because you know that it must be positive, because you've never seen a negative example um, in, this, uh, in this branch. So um, we can't use the posterior probability, right? So we can't use something like that, probability that he will play uh, in the subset, because it needs to be symmetric. Now, what I mean by that is, um, <clears throat> a pure subset, which is four yeses and zero noes, is just as good as a pure subset which has, say, six noes and zero yeses, right? So it can't be the probability of the positive. It must be something that is symmetric on the positive side and on the negative side. So, uh, so what can we do? Um, there is a measure like that, and it's called entropy. Uh, it is a way to measure the uncertainty of, cla of a class in a subset of um, examples. So uh, entropy is defined like that. So we have two numbers, p plus and p minus. p plus is the probability of positive once you're on the subset, and p minus is one minus that. It's the probability of the negative once you're on the subset. And note what you're doing is you have some expression in terms of p plus and some expression in terms of p minus, and you're adding them together. So that's what, makes it, that's what makes it symmetric. If you flip the pluses and the minuses, it won't change anything. <clears throat> so um, entropy does actually have an interpretation. It's a funny interpretation uh, in, in this context, but uh, the interpretation is in terms of the bits, the number of bits that you need to convey information. So uh, s the question that you're trying to answer is this. Suppose that you know that item X belongs to a certain subset. How many bits do you need to spend to say whether x is positive or negative, assuming that it is uh, in the subset? So uh, I guess, uh, so if the, if, if the subset is pure, then how many bits do you need? Zero. You don't need it, right? You already know. If it's in the pure subset, it's, you, know, you know that it's positive. So if, if the subset is overall positive, pure, you know that it's positive. Um, if the subset has 10 positives and 10 negatives, how many bits do you need? One. 
right? Because for this item, you need to say whether it's positive or negative, because if you did anything else, you'd be betting on a coin toss, right? It's either positive or negative, and to be certain, you need to spend exactly one bit, right? And for cases where you are less certain than the pure set, but not as uncertain as a coin flip, uh, entropy will give a number between uh, 0 and 1. So that the interpretation is the number of bits, except it's a fractional number of bits. So it's kind of strange and fun. So you can have like half a bit. Uh, <clears throat> OK, so here's an example for an, uh, for an impure set. right? Uh, so you have uh, three positives, three negatives. So you have 1 half, 1 half. And by the way, logarithms are base 2. So, uh, so that, that ends up to, uh, so this is 1 half, this is 1 half. Log of 1 half is minus 1. So you're multiplying it by that minus, so you get a half. Uh, so, oh, sorry. Um, yes, minus 1. So it's uh, minus 1 half times minus 1. That's 1 half. Uh, you get the same number here, 1 half. So 1 half plus 1 half, you get 1 bit. Right. <clears throat> so uh, if the set is totally pure, so 4 positives and 0 negatives, what you get is... Uh, uh, 1, 1, 0, 0. So 0 log 0 is uh, 0 by L'Hopital's rule, and uh, log, zero, uh, log 1 is 0, so 1 times 0 is 0. So you need 0 bits for the pure set. Okay. Um, in general, though, uh, this, is what, uh, this is what entropy looks like. So if you, are, um, <clears throat> if you are totally certain that it's positive, if the p plus is 1, then you need 0 bits. If you're totally, totally certain that it's negative, you need zero bits. If you're totally uncertain, half and half, uh, you need one bit exactly. And if you are somewhere on the side, say you're two-thirds certain that it's one or another, you need a little bit less than one bit. So uh, that's what I was talking about when I said symmetric, right? This graph is symmetric. It must be symmetric about point half. Uh, 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 sorry, about point five. <coughs> 